Suin Q, and I'm the co-founder and creative director for Private Policy, and we're a brand based in New York. The brand I started with Haran Lee, my business partner. Two kids from China who went to school in America and pursued a dream in New York. We graduated from Parsons. Between me and Haran, I think we really got so lucky. He's really like amazing about fabrications, and he loved all the embroidery, fabric manipulations, and I was really into like silhouette design. In the beginning, we're just thinking about what can we bring to this world with a whole bunch of fashion brands, clothing. We just feel the world does not need more clothes, but maybe something else. Maybe as a fashion brand, we can bring to our audience stories and topics, concepts within the society. Really, the biggest thing for us is to feel free. We started the brand in the very beginning to be a genderless brand. Why are we labeling clothes to a specific gender when people, especially young people, are not living with all that boundary anymore? Let's break that within fashion. We put a lot of conscious designs within the clothes that people can play with. And we really see that our audience or people who wear our clothes start to style it in such different ways. And that's our goal and dream. Our collections, inspiration, the whole process really started with me or Haran or both of us got crazy excited about one Topic. It's not just about the look. I think the brand is more about a voice. It's almost like a media. It's like they are talking about some issue for every collection. Uh, like last season, they did this collection based on the, the history of Chinese immigrants in America. Most recent one, I was just inspired by this photo of this amputee model walking out of the ocean. You know, it's just so beautiful. I was like, oh my gosh, she looked like Venus, like Aphrodite. And the whole collection about Aphrodite and then redefine what beauty standard come after that. I think a lot really changed or say, make us think after the year of quarantine. And that allowed us a lot of time to look more within. And that kind of brings us to the new collection with Spring 22. We are looking at how plants in urban settings are influencing us. Every season we do more of a showpiece, we call it, to show people sustainability can be fun and creative. So for the upcoming Spring 22 collection, we found this cool technique of melting plastic out of just like a candle and then really create this beautiful paddle shape that's so realistic and really is that feeling we want that you get from nature. In five years, we really hope private policy can become a bigger platform for people to discuss and discover different kind of social topics and finding solutions for them. And the clothes itself just become a medium of a part of that discussion. Be brave and not to be too confined about the system that's already there or how it's always have been done, all those things. If it works, it works. It doesn't matter how it has been done before.